So good afternoon, Arts Academy. When Komali approached me last week about being the person that they needed to see, I thought to myself, look at you. Don't go on and outdone yourself and make cool nodding. But by the end of the conversation, I realized that that wasn't the case and that I agreed to do a speech. I almost cried. Well, it is a great honor to stand before you today in light of an academic celebration. I always believed last year's poetry recitation would be my last time on stage in front of all of you. So I don't know how or why, but I'm here again. But before my nerves get the best of me and I pass out an anxiety attack, I'd like, to share my, I'd like to share with you my experience as a student at LA. For all of you new students who may not know me, my name is Elise Goodman and I hail from the Bahamas. And for the seniors that have been going to school with me for three or four years and still don't know me, my name is Elise Goodman. <laughs> People constantly ask me, why would you ever move from such a warm and lovely place to go to school in New England? And I'm like, isn't it obvious? It's definitely for the snow days. I used to tell my friends back home, you all haven't lived until there's a day with weather so awful that they have to shut the whole place down. <laughs> yes, it was definitely for the snow days. But in all seriousness, I came over to receive a higher level of education. Before LA, I went to a very small school of approximately 27 students. When I was given the opportunity to attend school in the States, I was both ecstatic and terrified. All people back home kept saying this, these states' children are smart. So even though I graduated as valedictorian, or sand dollar as we call it on the islands, I felt I might not match up if I took the chance. Whenever my friends back home would ask me if I was dead yet due to the rigorous course load, I would say, you know me, I'm just going with the flow. Extra help was just simply not an option. Aristotle and Locke and Pluto confused the life out of me. My history papers, they never made sense. I really don't know how Mr. Cully survived reading them. I just want to publicly apologize because it was even hard for me to read my own papers at that time. <laughs> I was passing with okay grades, I guess, still going with the flow, but not anything impressive. So I began to formulate my own opinions and thought for myself. I began to take initiative in all my endeavors. If I didn't get something in class, I made sure I went to the next extra help session. My model then became, what I know, I know, and what I don't know, I'll find out. Mm -hmm. Don't be satisfied with just being an okay student. You can always be more. The fact that you're here in such a fine institution proves just that. Lawrence Academy is an ocean full of endless opportunities and experiences. And once you turn your shift to drift in the right direction, with determination and hard work, nothing can stop you from being the best that you can be. I'm glad I realized this when I did, because otherwise, I would not have the opportunities that I have today. For all of you underclassmen, don't just sit back in astonishment thinking, oh my goodness, these seniors are so smart. Look at all the great schools they got into. Each and every one of you has the potential to do and to be the exact same, or even better. Now I have to go to track me, but thank you cum laude for the opportunity to speak. Unlike me in my first seminar, you don't have to agree with everything I'm saying just because I'm on the podium. However, I hope that each and every one of you seizes all the opportunities and tools at your disposal to become the independent mind you wish to be. Thank you.